it's a 3 litre TDI V6 S Line Plus. It's Tiptronic, 2014 on a 14 plate, one owner from new, great condition and full service history. It's done 58,775 miles. Fuel economy, urban 32.8 miles per gallon, extra urban 42.2 miles per gallon and combined is 38.2 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 135 miles per hour out of a six cylinder, 242 brake horsepower, 24 valve engine. So we've got the proper key there with a the blade and a, a nice little place to put it on the dashboard, look, so it doesn't slide around on your, on your gear tunnel or lose it in your pocket. So that, that's a great idea from out here. A key with a blade on, <laughs> I like it. So that's it, foot on the brake, turn the ignition, and away we go. I'll just turn the fan down and the music, although. Great sound system. Right, so we'll turn this down a little bit, just turn that down to one. Although I do need to keep it fairly cool in here. Rear parking sensors. Um, here we go. Service history, 14th of the 3rd, 2016, at 12,891 miles, Jack Barkley, Audi. 28th of the 2nd, 2017, at 18,304 miles, Jack Barkley, Audi. 1st of the 3rd, 2018, 24,347 miles, Jack Barkley, Audi. 17th of the 1st, 2019, at 30,812 miles, Jack Barkley, Audi. 29th of the 1st, 2020, at 37,224 miles, Jack Barkley Audi. Third of the second, 2021 at 41,625 miles, Jack Barkley Audi. 20th of the first, 2022 at 46,770 miles, Alpine Motorworks. And the 26th of the first, 2023 at 53,919 miles, Alpine Motorworks again. Done 58,775 at the moment. So let, let's get going, get some uh, air circulating through the car so my cameras don't overheat. I've already had a nightmare with them this morning. <laughs> not, not switching on. It's, uh, it's nearly time for the new GoPro to come out. It's probably next month or, or early next month. So what we're on now, GoPro 11s, so it'll be the GoPro 12. Let's just hope they manage to get them to stop overheating and switching on and sinking and working properly they've had they've had 11 goes at it so far and not managed it so big audi q7 um if you if you're studying at the moment electric cars and the values and diesels um, you'll see that they've, the Motor Impress have, have put that electric vehicles have um, stabilised this month. But by stabilised, it means that I think Tesla's have dropped 1500 quid or something like that. So that's stabilising, but diesels are plummeting. Remember, remember plummeting. So I think this has gone down £175 or something. And uh, we're actually having to give over book for nice diesels. And you can buy electric vehicles that have gone down £1,500 a month. You can buy them for way behind, I mean thousands behind. So don't believe anything you hear or read in the motoring journals. They're all, in my opinion, they're, they're all bent and uh, I think there's so much money changing hands at the moment with advertising or trying to popularise electric vehicles that uh, you just can't believe a word you say or word they say I mean you, you jump in this seven seats, two seats in the back where are you going to find a vehicle like this for this money that doesn't drop like a stone. No, I'm not going. I'm not going through the lights. 
and, and the reason I'm not going through the lights is I know that all the cyclists that are watching this would report me. So, right, so here we go. We've got, there you go, height and reach adjustable, multifunction steering wheel. We've got cruise just here, electric windows here, electric door mirrors, power folding door mirrors. And that beautiful three litre engine. And when you get to a stage where you're nearly out of fuel, instead of having to go and find somewhere and then sit there for a couple of hours while it charges up, you just go to this thing called a fuel station. You put a diesel pump in a hole in the back here, fill it up, and you're good for it another three or four hundred miles. I don't know why they haven't thought of it before. It is just effortless. When you think how much it weighs system is very very good. I think it was Alexander O'Neill playing before. Get that on full blast. day today it's been raining a bit but what a, what a day to just jump in a car like this and, and go anywhere you know no planning 
you don't have to worry about where your next charge is going to be you just jump in it go anywhere no no you know a joyride is exactly that it's supposed to be full of joy not planning you know lose yourself well you can't lose yourself in an EV can you <laughs> you can you've got to go and well don't get me started on EVs there's uh, chaps speeding up so we'll uh, let him go highway maintenance what else you can also there you go change gears not the gear selector across knock it forward for changing up and back for changing down just feels solid here's your mode switch so you can swap over um, you, you can swap the source of the audio Bluetooth and radio and, and so on here you can knock the track although from where I sit I can't really see it just gonna move over there you go so I can there you go I can uh, just knock that it over go to the next one minutes honestly mr. GoPro if you're watching put a diesel engine in them you, you can use the weight to turn the car or to assist you turning the car load the front wheel up car goes around the bend unless of course you're in a whatever that thing is in front it's a Vauxhall something or other I don't even know what it is I don't think I've ever seen one before and it's a 71 plate it's got a very long name whatever it is is it a Grandland? I thought they were bigger anyway what a car you put the back row of seats down Oops, we're going to have an accident here if we're not careful with this lad. Driving too fast. What a t I don't know. But there's only one person going to come off worse there, and it, it wasn't me. <laughs> I hit this bloke. And he just, he just got his shovel at head high. Thank you. I suppose that's the only instance where you'd have been better off in a, a sports car. Well, we've got the uh, roof bar carrier system, rear privacy glass, the middle row of seats slide forward so you can get in the in the back easier. Nice car. Aircon here. Heated seats. On the 
the right hand side you have your volume control for your radio I mean it just it really really handles well steering's great I think this is perhaps the sort of steering and feel through the tyres is somewhere between an X5, X6 and a Range Rover if you like a bit more feel when you're driving a bit sportier drive but you want something that your family's going to be safe in and will get you anywhere at any time through anything then this is uh, it's a good option the aluminium side steps perhaps more for looks and practicality the nice three spoke wheels not falling into this trap <laughs> all, all we need to do is overtake this guy give him a yard and then run into the guy who uh, had his big bucket up at head height on a country lane. Overheated it again after about a minute. It's actually it's it's a it's a real driver's car. It makes me want to drive too fast. So you just load it into corners. It's just no problem. You don't get the sensation that you're going to fall over. It's well planted. Great car to drive. Big, got electric seats here as well. There you go up and down. Rest. Just nice. So paddle shift there. Nice thick padded steering wheel. great bunch of mechanics and uh, it makes all the it makes all the difference on how you remember vehicles when I, when I worked for BMW <laughs> the boss was great the sales manager not so much the service manager 
not so much the accountant but uh, you know a, a, a VW Audi for, for Humphrey I, I, I think back and told this story before but I was so busy I was still at work at nine o'clock we finished at six I was still at work at nine o'clock and Humphrey Moon just happened to be driving by Humphrey Moon owned Moon's Toyota and Chorley Autos what did he do stopped rolled his sleeves up helped me and me and him were, were dealing customers yeah it's like it's like I was going to say it was like being in the trenches, but it's nothing like being in the trenches. So I, I, I apologise straight away for that. But, you know, these days, all the bosses, the sales managers, the general managers, they're just nobody, nobody will get their hands dirty anymore. They're, they're too busy walking around in their pointy shoes and the and the, the fancy suits and telling everybody what they what they've done wrong and how many cars they, they should be selling when they haven't got a clue how to do it themselves. That's the motor trade for you these days. What a great car. Young lady just here to pick this nice bright Audi A1 up. Not even had time to video it. We've got the uh, a little Fiat come in swap there. And in front of that we've got the yellow Audi A1, a two litre. That'll be a, a little pocket rocket. There we go, we're back. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video, ta-da!